Hold your breath. Hey guys, so I was thinking, my school year's over, right? I finished my first year of college, and I've been getting a lot of questions in the comments actually about the university that I'm going to. So I just wanted to do a year review and tell you guys what I know, what I wish I knew before I came to the new school. So I go to the new school, Parsons School of Design and Eugene Lang School for Liberal Arts in the BAFA program. If you don't know what BAFA is, it's a dual degree program, Bachelor's in Arts, Bachelor's in Fine Arts. I'm studying Integrated Design at Parsons and Culture and Media with a minor in Chinese at Eugene Lang. That's the lowdown for you of what I'm doing here in New York City. So I just wanted to answer some questions and comments and so let's just start off with housing. I lived on campus for the first year. I lived in Stuyvesant Park dormitory. And that was, so there's four dorms in the new school. There's Cary Hall, the best one. Please put Cary Hall as your number one if you're going to the new school. Then there's, I'm going in descending order from best to worst. So Cary Hall, Loeb Hall, third, or. Er, Stuyvesant Park, which is the one I was at, and then 13th Street residence. Then there's another one on like 82nd Street, but I don't know that many kids who are there. It's like a temporary residence area. I lived in Stuyvesant Park. Do I recommend the dorm? No, I hated the dorm. Did I find my roommates and my best friends there? Yes, I did. I love the dorm for that. I hated the price we paid. I hated the mail system. It was slow. There were mice. It was disgusting. The amount I was paying for the room was disgusting. I didn't film videos because there was no space. There was literally no space. Like our living room in our new apartment is bigger than the whole room that we shared in a triple. I was in a triple. So yeah, that's the dorm for you. My program, do I like my program? BAFA is a wonderful program. If, so BAFA dual degree, <laughs> just for clarification, is a wonderful program. But do I recommend, I think that it's a very hard program and you need to know that you're going to be taking a lot of classes on. So every semester I'm taking six classes. So let me just talk about the professors and the school. Overall, very disappointed in the community aspect of the school. There is no sense of community in the school. There are clubs that I try to join, didn't get a response. There's stuff that I try to do, didn't get a response. Basically, people are there to go to school, to do your design work, and go home. So you go to class. I didn't make that many friends in class, I went home. I actually found a lot of the community that I was looking for at NYU, which is kind of interesting. So I came from a school, from a private school that had, my high school was a, a big community, it was all about community, and I came here complete opposite, no community, which is crazy to me. It was so hard for me, but I think it showed me something about the school. People are so competitive, they're here to learn. They're not here to do sororities. This is not a school of sororities. This is not a school for clubs. And you could join a club or make a club, but not many people do it. This is not a school for partying. This is a school for getting your work done. And if you want the best, you're gonna get the best if you, what you make out of it. That's the main point here, is that you need to make the most of your time and the most of your money at the school. It's an expensive institution. I understand that. I've been trying to look for more scholarships. It's so expensive. The dormitory is disgusting, expensive. Like, do I recommend the dorm? Absolutely not, unless you don't know anybody and you need a roommate. So that's that for you. Um, it, I mean, it taught me a lot about the new school. But programs, I love my teachers. My professors are amazing, so, so smart. I have this one professor. I mean, if you guys want to look her up, you can look her up. Her name's Raha Rasni. She is amazing. I love her to death. Great. She's great. She's so smart, intelligent, amazing. And I've stayed friends with a lot of professors. I actually just scheduled a coffee date with um, one of my professors. It's just like maybe kind of weird, but at the same time, like, it's cool. Like, I get to like hang out with these people. They're so smart. They're intelligent. Help me a lot. Um, first year at Parsons specifically is about a building a foundation. It's about foundation courses. So there's courses that basically is about like 2D, 3D design, um, conceptual, how can you think, that's our time class. Just different strategies in that sense. And then in Eugene Lang, your first year is a literature class. Some, if you're just in Eugene Lang, if you're not in the BAFA program, you'll be taking writing the essay one, writing the essay two. There's, in Parsons, it's a studio seminar combo. So you have a studio class and a seminar class with the same people, different teachers, different times a day. 
very interesting. Love those classes because it's very independent work. I spent a lot of time, I consider myself more as an artist, and I use the program that I have at Eugene Lang, the liberal arts school, to supplement my artistry. I found out a lot about the programs. Um, it's kind of hard. I think you need to do your research about the school and really seriously consider if you're ready to go to a school that's not a normal university. It's called the new school for a reason. It's not normal. <laughs> it's very much like nothing like my friends. My friends are all like, oh yeah, I'm in sororities. Even NYU, even Barnard, Columbia University, completely different. FIT, completely different than the new school. So very strange. Very interesting at the same time. Depends on what kind of person you are. I knew that I needed to stray away, but I didn't know I was going that much away. So other questions. Other questions. You'll be spending a lot of time and money on your project outside of class. If you're not ready to spend money or time on projects, if you're not ready to take design seriously, don't come to the school. Don't come. Because a lot of the kids, the acceptance rate is so high because 50% of the kids drop out. The dropout rate is so high. It's weird. It's so strange. Um, but at the same time, like if you know you want to do this, you go. Like you go and you do it. And I've been really lucky to have the professors that I have. I did a lot of research every time I choose a class. I research the professor, what they do, will they fit the kind of style I like for teaching. You need to do your own research about the school. You need to do your own research about the programs. And in the end, your projects will be amazing and you'll be so happy in that sense. But if you don't do the research, you're going to be unhappy. Money-wise, New York City. New York City is so expensive. It makes me cry. It makes me cry. What do I do to support myself? Well, I have a job. I work so much. Um, I actually haven't been making YouTube videos um, except for vlogs because work has been consuming my life. Do you get to sleep? Yeah, you can sleep. If you manage your time efficiently, manage your time, please manage your time. If you have a long-term assignment, start in the beginning. This is just in general for college. Start in the beginning. Other things in New York City, subway system. You'll get used to it. I love the subway system. It's actually really convenient and easy. Except at night, if I'm alone, I can. I usually take an Uber back, honestly, if I'm being honest. Can you do anything here? What's fun? What are fun things to do in New York City? I'm going to be real honest with you, if you don't have a fake ID, a lot of the nightlife is limited. You just, a lot of things is like you have to be 21 here, which I know a lot of people are disappointed about because in the beginning of the year, I think that like a lot of kids were going out and I wasn't able to go out because I didn't have fake and it's just, yeah, I mean it's not even like, it's not even for consumption of substances. But just to get into places, you need to have a fake ID, which is like kind of unfortunate and disappointing in that sense. So that's that. <laughs> Other things, go explore. Please explore New York. When your teachers tell you to do something, do it, even if it sounds stupid. One of my teachers, my favorite teacher, Raha, right? She told me, she goes, go bury a picture and you're gonna, in the park and you're gonna dig it up at the end of the semester. And I was like, what? I did it? Wow, what a cool project! What amazing! Don't think it's stupid. Don't think it's stupid. Go explore. I beg you, I beg you. Um, other questions I might get a lot. Well, why would you go to a school that's not about community and no sororities? Is it really worth it? I mean, at the end of the day, you're learning. If you're here to learn, you're ready. I actually want to do a video with all my projects, so hopefully I can show you some of the cool stuff that I've done this year because first year has been great. New York City is kind of, you need to be ready to take it on. I'm gonna be honest with you. I did not know I was coming to New York City. It's been kind of depressing um, in a sense. It's hard here. There's so much noise. You have a like system overload in a sense. And it's great. I mean, at the same time, it's cool, right? You're, it's cool, you're living in New York City, but it doesn't get sad and lonely sometimes. Yeah, it's kind of lonely sometimes, especially when you're not in a community and it's hard to make friends. I feel like, wow, there's so many people here in the city. Why don't I have friends? You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's just like a kind of a weird thing that I never thought was going to happen in New York. And I think a lot of people don't want to talk about the negative sides to university life, but I think it's very important. Even if you're like a rising junior or 
rising senior who's looking at colleges or you're actually coming to the new school or you're going to any university I think that it's important to realize that this is like not always a great like first year your first year is not just about partying it's about hard work and you need to people here in New York City especially work so hard for what they have so hard yeah you think yeah I maybe it's kind of this is just an off-base topic you want to come here to New York you better work your butt off I'm gonna be honest but I honestly year in review do I love the new school I love the new school it's great it's great some things do I wish there were some administrative changes yes I wish there were administrative changes I wish the dorms would change the food oh do not sign up for a meal plan my other thing do not sign up for a meal plan you will be signed up for a meal plan automatically, opt out of it. Opt out of the meal plan. No, no meal plan. It's so outrageously expensive and the hours are bad to go get food. They're trying to improve it. I know they're trying to improve the system, but it's just not great. It's not a meal swipe, it's like normal money. So it's just unfortunate because like NYU, it makes me really sad. NYU has meal swipes, so they swipe, they get a meal. At our school, it's by like weight and pound and it's not a good system. They do have kitchens in some of the dormitories, so you're able to cook if you want to, if you opt out of the meal plan as well. So yeah, those are just kind of some things that to consider. If you have any questions about the new school, Parsons School of Design, Eugene Lake School, living in New York City, anything like that, please leave them down below in the comments. I'll answer them, or you can DM me on Instagram, or you can tweet me, whatever you want to do. I don't really care, whatever's easier for you. Please like this video if you want to see more. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know. Subscribe if you want to see more content. I'm Eve, by the way, if you haven't met me before. I'm Eve, and this is my channel, Beauty That Shines. And so I just hope you have a dandy dandy day. Good luck choosing university. Love you so much. Mwah.